Hello everybody, welcome back to the Modern Hermit. My name is Lainey and here on this channel I inform you on the proper way to care for your pets. So my African Clawed Frog's tank is finally here. It's new and improved and I think he's enjoying it. It's much bigger and he just really seems to like it. He's got a lot of places to hide. If you watched my last video, I was telling you how I was been taking care of my frog wrong for almost a decade now. So I finally got his tank up to par and he seems to be really enjoying it. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the journey and how I put this tank together. Um, he's currently hiding right now because he's very shy, he doesn't really like me that much, and he's in a very contorted, odd hiding position right now. That's how desperate he is to get away from me, so. With that said, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Alright, so first things first, I pretty much got this 10 gallon glass tank. I set it up on our piano. Once I got it onto the actual piano here in its new place, I went ahead and put in the substrate. So for substrate, I originally was going to do sand and then also some of this gravel stuff that is from the Grow a Frog kit for their setup of their little tanks. You will see later in the video that I ended up just using the gravel, this green gravel that came from the Grow a Frog kit. I would not recommend using sand, I would recommend just this kind of gravel or a bare bottom tank. Once I had the substrate ready, I went ahead and started getting my driftwood ready. So in the description below, I will leave a link that I followed for making aquarium friendly driftwood. I pretty much found this wood down at my local park by the creek, no pesticides in the area or anything. I took home the driftwood and I went outside and sprayed it down with a hose. I used the jet settings so that I could get all the extra bugs and dirt out because I didn't want that in my tank. Once I was done spraying down all the driftwood, I went ahead and put those on a cookie sheet and I put those into the oven for I think 15 to 20 minutes on the lowest setting my oven goes on which I believe is 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Once I was done sanitizing it in the oven I went ahead and put it into the tank. Once I placed the driftwood into the tank I went ahead and filled the tank up with some dechlorinated water. I did have to put some rocks on the driftwood to keep it from floating up to the top. I did this to get the driftwood soaking hopefully so that the water would absorb into it and it wouldn't float but that actually didn't end up working. I just still have rocks on it to keep it from floating. So that was pretty much the end of my first day of construction. Hello everyone, it's now day two of construction for my African Clawed Frogs tank. So here's what's happening. Currently this is the tank, it's just exactly how I left it yesterday. It's still cloudy, the sand is taking its sweet lifetime to settle into the ground. Also you can see that the two rocks are still on the driftwood holding it down. Here in a little bit, we're gonna see if I can take those off or not. So I just got back from PetSmart. I bought three things, which I'll show you in a little bit, which are all for the tank. But first, I wanted to tell you guys about my water. So PetSmart, at least the one near me, does free water testing. So if you bring in your water, they'll test your pH levels, your nitrates, your ammonia levels, all that. And they give you this fancy report paper, which is really nice, because it tells you all about your water and what you need to do to fix it. So as you can see from this report, my ammonia levels, my nitrate levels, my chlorine levels, and my pH levels are all good. They say no course of action under their number. I believe your pH is supposed to be between 7 and 8 for your African clawed frogs, so we're looking really good there. So I do need to do a 25% water change to help with the hardness, the nitrite levels, and the alkalinity. So we're going to do that real quick. So like I said, I need to do a 25% water change of the water in here. So I'm going to be doing that with this siphon, which is meant for like fish aquariums, but it'll work perfectly fine in here. So right now we pretty much just have the finishing touches for decoration. So what I'm going to do is put everything in it and then I'm going to be actually gone several days in the next week, week and a half. So I really want to have everything just cycling and ready for the frog and not just put them in right away. I want to give the plants a head start to start growing and kind of get a grasp in the ground. I want them to get their roots firmly into the ground because African clawed frogs do have very powerful hind legs. So if I put them in immediately, plants are going to be kicked up really quickly. So I want them to be established as much as possible before I put the frog in. All right, so to start off with decorating, I'm going to take these bags of Rocks. I got two bags of these black aquarium rocks by Topfin. I got these at PetSmart. They were like two bucks a bag, so not too bad. What I'm going to do with these is I'm going to put them here in the driftwood for one, to help hold the driftwood down, and then also to give the plants something to kind of wrap their roots into. No! 
right, so the last thing that I got from the pet store is this Anubias plant. This is by Topfin, and they sell all kinds of different plants. The reason I chose this one is they're recommended for African clawed frogs because they have tough leaves, so hopefully the frog won't tear this apart in two weeks. So I'm just going to follow the instructions that are on here for planting this, and then we'll be good to go. So I made the decision to get rid of the sand. It was making the water way, way, way too dirty, and I was not about to have a tank that looked like dirt every day. So I switched out for the rest of the green sand I had, which isn't a ton, but it should be enough to, you know, keep this going. So nothing's really changed. I went ahead and put the driftwood and rocks back in there along with the Anubias plant. And I'm pretty much just gonna let this sit for a week to kind of establish itself. The only thing I have left to add are some little rocks for hiding places. So I'm gonna put those in. And just for reference, I did put the Anubias. I kind of stuck it in a little hole that's in the driftwood. So that's what's holding it down and then hopefully the roots will kind of help secure it for the future. Alright, so that's pretty much the finished tank. Like I said, I'm going to let it sit for a few weeks. I might order a few more plants on Amazon to put in the driftwood. I really would love to have more plants just kind of up and especially somewhat covering the top. I think that would just make it look really nice and I love the planted tank look. Yeah, so that was pretty much it for today. For the next time you see me, we will probably, hopefully, fingers crossed, be putting the frog into his new home. Oh, almost forgot to put in the conditioner. That would have been bad. Six. Do you see it, buddy? You see it? You like it? Are you excited? The thing about African clawed frogs is they literally just sit there and sometimes, a lot of times actually, they just look like they're dead and you're just kind of confused and then when you're trying to tell them they're coming to a new place, they're just kind of like... So I don't know what he thinks. So for the last day of construction, I decided to clean the tank to get it ready for the frog. Because it had been sitting and been stagnant for about a week, I wanted to clean it to get any ammonia or anything out of the water. So I took an unused toothbrush and I used that to wipe off any algae that might have been on my Anubias plant. I also used it to get the hard water stains and gunk off the sides of the tank. I also went ahead and did a 50 to 75% water change to get out all the old water and put in some new fresh water for the frog. Once I had finished cleaning that and putting everything back in its place, it was time to move my frog into his new home. To do this, I just used a little plastic bowl and kind of had to corner him in the side of his tank and get him in there. But once he was in that little container, I went ahead and put him into his new home. He seems to be loving his new home. He's been hiding under the driftwood a lot. He absolutely loves it. I have seen him recently hiding down in this little cave. He's been out a lot more than he used to be. He used to just be like strictly under the driftwood, but he seems to be warming up to the idea of coming out into the open a little bit. I love this new tank. I think it's a lot more attractive than the last one, and it also makes me enjoy having a frog more because I get to see him more often, and it's just much more interesting this way than in a little tiny tank like this big. So yeah, that's pretty much the construction of my African clawed frogs tank. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to The Modern Hermit down below, and please feel free to share this channel with any of your pet owner friends. Comment down below if you guys own a frog or if you own an African called frog and what tank they're in because I'd love to chat with you guys down there about your frogs. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. So I will see you all next time. Bye guys. He says bye even though he's hiding. Beep, beep, beep.